In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a new Rainbow Loom Inspire Reversible Bracelet. So you can make it using either one or two looms. I'm going to just be showing it on one loom today. And you want to have your loom set up in a staggered pattern where the pins are not in line with one another. And you're going to start with the arrows facing away from you. And for your bands, you will need 65 bands for the background color, which I've chosen white. And then you will need a total of 25 bands for the part that's going to make the pattern. You will also need some additional bands for an extension because it's not going to be long enough to go around your whole wrist. So I would say you'll probably need about 8 to 10 more bands for the extension. So we're going to start by placing the colored bands on the loom going to start in the center row and we're just going to be zigzagging our way up and down between the right row and the center row all the way to the end. We're not going to be using this left row at all. So I'm going to start with blue and I'm going to place it on that center pin and move it to the right and then I'm going to go to my next color which I have pink and I'm going to just go back up I want to try and make sure that these bands stay as straight as possible. And now I'm going from the center back down. And now I'm back to blue again. So I'm just going back in the middle. And then I'll switch to pink. And then to yellow. So that's really all there is to it for this part. You can use as few colors or as many colors as you'd like. I picked these colors because I thought they would look nice against the white background of the bracelet and also because they're nice spring and Easter colors. So I'm just going to keep repeating this pattern and I will fast forward here. And we're going all the way to the very end and you want to make sure that all of these bands are pushed down on the loom so we have room to add the next bands and we're just going to work our way back to the start here again. Again, you're having the arrows facing away from you. And now we're going to add the rest of the bands. And for this part, we're going to be using two bands at once. So you're always going to be placing them on together. And this is just to make it a little thicker looking. And we're going to be starting on this center pin and going out to that right hand row. And then again, I'm taking two more bands and I'm just going to work my way straight forward. I'm going to do this in both rows. So you could just do one row at a time or do them, um, you know, keep alternating. So I'll just alternate here since I'm only dealing with these two rows. And again, you always want to keep pushing these down as well because we will have to add cap bands. So again, I will just fast forward. And we're going to go all the way to the very end in both of these rows. And then you're going to take two more bands and connect the two rows and now we need to place the cap bands so for this part what you're going to do is take one band and double it so you can either just do it with your fingers or you can do it on the hook I'm going to show it on the hook so you place it on twist put it back on and then we're just going to place it 
from that center row and move it diagonally to that right row and we're just going to keep doing that working our way back again you want to make sure that these top bands are pushed down so you have room to add this and we're always doubling this band So we're just going to work our way back down to the start again. And then at the very end we're not going to do anything because there's already that band there. And then what I'm going to do is turn my loom around. So now that the arrows are facing towards me. And I have one more band I'm going to place on this very end pin. And it's going to be another cap band, so I'm going to double it. And I'm going to place it right on the top. So that pin is going to be very full. And now we're ready to start to loop the bands. So what you're going to do is on this end pin, you'll, I'll show you what all the bands are. The top two bands are the cap bands. The next set of bands is going into the center row. And the next set of bands is going forward. And then at the very bottom, you have just a single band, which is going to be our pattern. So we're going to take them off in order. You're going to put your hook down through the middle. You're going to take the back of your hook push back on the two top two bands, that's the cap bands, grab the next two bands, you want to hold this cap band in place, pull this out through and move it over. Now we're going to go back down through again, again pushing back on those top two bands, get the next two bands, hold that cap band in place, and move it forward. And now finally we have this blue band or whichever color you're working with. You want to grab that and also move that forward. And so now I'm just going to work my way up this one side of the loom. I'll stay in this row. I'm going down through. You'll see that there's a cap band on all of these pins. You always want to make sure you're going down through the very center so that cap band is behind your hook because you're always going to be pushing back on that. So you're pushing back on the cap band and you'll see you have a set of white bands you want to go down through, grab that those two bands, pull them out and forward, and now you'll have two bands on this pin and the only one you want to grab is the bottom. So it helps if you have two different colors because then it's easy to see. So I'm going pushing back on this yellow band and just grabbing the pink. I'm pulling that up through and moving it forward. Again, I'm going back down through this next pin, pushing back on the top two bands, grabbing the next two white and moving them forward and then going back down through now this time I have yellow on the bottom so I'm pushing back on the blue grabbing that yellow and moving it forward again push back on the two cap bands grab the next two white out and move ahead and then I'm going back down through pushing back on the pink this time I have blue on moving that out and forward and now I'm on to the next one just keep repeating push back on the cap bands grab those two white bands release them and move them straight ahead now going back down through pushing back on that yellow grabbing the pink and moving that out through. Again on the next one I'm pushing back getting the white first going back down through 
pushing back on that upper one, getting the yellow, and moving it forward. On this next one, getting the white, moving it up, back down, getting the blue, and moving that up. On the next one, I have the white, and then back down, I have the pink. Here I'm pushing back, getting the top two white, going back down through, getting that bottom yellow, and moving it forward. And so here we have, again, the two white, and now I have blue at the bottom. And now I have again the two white, back down for the pink, make sure it gets on there. The pins are full, so pushing back, getting the white, and now going back down through for the yellow. And then finally, at the end here, I'm, I don't have any cap band to worry about. I want the two white, and it's going to move into the center, back down through for the blue, and move that over as well. And now I want to go back to the start. And this time I'm going to loop the bands in that middle row. It's going to be the same pattern again. On this end pin, there's going to be a lot of bands. You're going to have four on the top that you want to push back on. So put your hook down through the middle, get those four behind your hook. You want to grab the next two bands, hold this in place because it will easily come off and move that ahead. And now you're going back down through. This time we have yellow at the bottom. So I want to push back on that blue band as well. Get this yellow to come out and forward. Now here start the more cap bands. You're going to push back. Grab those next two white. Move them out and forward going back down through. This time we have blue at the bottom and that's going to come out. Just be careful as you're pulling these out that you don't you don't want any bands to snap so just take your time and do it carefully and it should be okay. You're pushing back grabbing the next two white and moving them forward Again, you're going back down through. This time we have pink at the bottom. So I'm pushing back on that yellow and releasing the pink. Again, push back. Get the two white. Sometimes they're not as easy to separate. Again, now we're going down through. We have yellow at the bottom. And moving up here, we'll go down through, push back, get the two white, and now push back on the pink. I'm getting the blue, and again, I have the two white. And this time I have pink on the bottom. And again, I'm going back down through the middle. Get the two white. And now again back down for the yellow. 
Sorry if my arm or my hand's in the way. It's always a more awkward angle to do this row. Going down through. Getting the two white. And back down for the blue. Whoops. Again, down through. Getting those top two. And now I have pink at the bottom. We're getting near the end here. We have two more white. And then a yellow. Again, you can see how much easier it is to know which color you want when you have different colors to work with. Pushing back, getting the two white, and now going back down through for the blue. And now we have the two white, if I can get them separated. Moving forward, and now at the bottom we have pink, and that's going to move forward also. And so now we're at the top here, and we have one more band we're going to put on. So what you're going to do is take your hook, put it down through the middle, push it out to the side, take this last band here, I'm going to pull this up through, and then loop it back on. So I have both ends on the hook. And now I can very carefully pull this off. That bottom band is going to want to get stuck on the pin, so you have to be careful as you're pulling it off that you're getting all the bands to come off because you don't want one to be stuck on there and then you're pulling and it's getting really bent out of shape. So as you're doing it, just make sure you're using your finger. You can see here how this blue band wants to stick on. Make sure you're pulling it up and out so that they're all coming off. And then this is what it looks like. And you can see a few of them did get pulled a little bit out of shape. So all you have to do is just stretch this out a little bit, work with it, and it'll go back in shape. So just make sure as you're doing this that these two loose ends do stay on your hook. I actually, while I was showing you that, had it slip off of my hook. So I quick had to scramble and try to get it back on. So I apologize if it looks might look slightly different than yours at the end because I just had to scramble and get all these loose ends back together. So it might look a little tiny bit different at the very end here. But we all have mishaps. And so now we need to add an extension so this will be long enough to go around our wrist. So what you're going to do is take your loom and you want the arrows to be facing away from you. And you're just going to take whatever color bands you'd like. I'm just going to stick with white. And I'm going to just work up one side of the loom here. I'm going to use four bands. They're just going to go one right after another to the very next pin. And now I'm going to take these two loose ends and I'm going to get them on here. Make sure they both get around. And I'm going to stretch it out just so it's easier to grab. I'm going to go down inside, grab this band and pull back. And then just keep repeating. Keep pulling it back. And then I'm going to take my hook, get these two ends and pull it off. And then I'm going to take a clip. I have an S clip here. You can use what, whichever you have available. 
that's going to be half of the extension and now I'm going to take this other side put my hook through I'm going to grab another band and again pull that through that loose end on I'm going to set this aside again for a moment and now I'm going to do four more bands again with the arrows facing away from you and now I'm going to place this on again the two loose ends again I'll stretch it out just so it's easier to grab here and I'm going down in the middle grabbing that band and pulling back just keep repeating that and then again take the two loose ends on my hook take this off and now I can hook those around the other side of the clip and then here is the bracelet you can see that they're interlocking on the one side and then if you flip it over you can see on the other side all of the colored bands are laying on top of the white bands and I have another one that I made using the length of two looms and this is what that pattern looks like so you can see when it's put together how long it is so it should be able to fit around your whole wrist this is what it looks like on the other side so I hope you like this tutorial on the Inspire bracelet you can always leave me comments on YouTube or Facebook feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can keep up to date on all of the new designs that I will have coming out